Hi, welcome back to Poppy's Power Ups. This is a continuation of a series that we're working on that I'm really excited about. It's for my daughter's B Day. It's Poppy's B Day Challenge! Part 2. What is the big power up today? It's time. I am not your financial advisor and I don't want to be. I hope to help you and your friends learn about finances and to build a bright future for yourselves. This group is for children and grandchildren, parents and grandparents, friends, neighbors, relatives, anyone that still has years ahead of them can benefit from this information. So we're going to look at a little bit of math today. I'm not going to do the math for you. You're going to do it yourself. What I am here to show you is some tools. Here's compound interest, the formula for compound interest. And what you have is time. The number of years the money is invested. That's you. That's your power up. That's your time that you have. Time is your power up. You've got this. Okay, here we are. We're looking at a compound interest calculator. I found this one at nerdwallet.com. You can find them just about anywhere though. So let's plug in some numbers. What I did here is our initial deposit. That's our birthday gift. Uh, I don't know what your actual number is for that you are starting with, but we're going to do this just to make it simple, starting with $100. Um, you can come back later and play with this, adding uh, maybe a $100 check each year and see what happens with the numbers. So we're going to look at, first of all, um, we're going to put in 16 years. Let's act like you've got 16 years to hold the money. Maybe you were zero years old, and by the time you're 16, this is the amount that you would have in the bank. Um, and, well, I say the bank, in your investment account, whatever it might be. To start off with, I'm calculating with 0.25% interest compounded annually. That's pretty high for what you'd get in the bank right now, but that's a good, good number. You can see what happens. 16 years later, your future balance you deposited $100, future balance is about $105, earning 0.25% for 16 years. We're going to change that percentage, and let's pretend like you earn 10% interest annually for that 16 years. That brought you up to $460. Not bad, right? Let's keep on going. What if you earn 20% in that 16 years, you're up to $1,800. And what would be fantastic it happens it's hard to do you can't count on this but it happens it is possible some people can average 30 percent in 16 years your 100 dollars could be up at six thousand dollars that's that's extreme that's that's a lot of money um but and you can earn 30 percent in some places like i said you'll see some of that in the other video in the, in the next video uh video number three so let's go back and change some things here. We're gonna do this. All right, so we switched. We still have the $100 initial deposit. No con contributions annually. We're not adding to it right now. But I changed our time. I, I threw your time in there. That is your power up, your extra time. Now we're, we're growing this for 44 years instead of just 16 years. And let's see what happens. We're still, we're in the bank here at 0.25% interest. In 44 years, that $100 grew and grew up to about $112. Let's, <laughs> I think we can do better than in the bank account. So let's push this up to 10% like we talked about earlier. 10% has been a pretty good average for the S&P 500. Kind of like on the, that was almost exactly what the 30% for 16 years was. Um, so let's keep on going. That that's at 10%. What if we hit 20%? Is that going to double that number? Is it going to triple it? Let's look at it. We're starting out at 6,600. Let's push this up to 20% estimated rate of, estimated rate of return. And 20%, <laughs> that's 300. That's more than doubling it, isn't it? If you could earn, it, and it happens, you can earn 20% on some of these things. It's it, it's not easy. It doesn't come without work, but it can be done. 
this one hundred dollar deposit. What if you, I mean, maybe you had to double that? Maybe you deposited two hundred or more. But this is your one hundred dollar deposit that you grew at twenty percent average for forty four years puts you up at three hundred thousand dollars for your birthday. That one hundred dollar birthday gift. That's amazing. That's why I'm. That's why I'm so excited about this time. That's why I'm so excited about the time that you have. These forty four years. That's crazy. Um, let's. I'm gonna let's shift this back down so you can watch the numbers. Watch the numbers over here change as we go back down. Let's go back down to 24. At 24 years, that would make you 40 because we acted like you started at 16 years old. Plus 24 years gets you to 40 years old. That hundred dollar check. We've made it to almost eight thousand dollars. Put another 10 years in it. That <laughs> puts you to fifty thousand, and that's what I'm. That's why I'm trying. I spend so much time on showing you how this works because time is. That time is what you have. That's your power up right now. Let's bump that back up to forty four where I had it when you turned sixty years old. We're back at three hundred four thousand dollars. That's pretty sweet. What if on this hundred dollar investment? What if you managed to get that thirty percent that sometimes happens? What if? Let's see, where does it take us? There's 25, 28, 29, 30. <laughs> if you could average 30% on your $100 gift on your 60th birthday, that's worth $10 million. That's why I'm so excited because you have this time. Time. Let's knock that back. Let's do that same thing we did a minute ago. So, okay, we started, we, let's do this. We started at 16. So by the time you're 20 years old, that $100 check is up to 286. That's not real impressive. But, so that was at 20 years old. So we add another 10 years. When you hit 30 years old, that's a value of about $4,000. When you hit 40 years old, that same $100 check is now grown to 54000 when you hit 50 years old, you're pu you're pushing a million, and then the last 10 years on your way to your 60th birthday, it multiplies. <laughs> Happy 60th birthday, 10 million dollars. Now that is an awesome birthday present. That that $100 that you put in here, you managed to grow it at 30 percent till you're 60 years old and that is a 10 million dollar birthday gift right there that's it i hope you're as excited as i am with what can be done with the compounding interest over the next few decades i think that's awesome now i want to be perfectly clear there is no guarantee that you will earn that 10 percent interest or 20 or 30 percent there's no guarantees on what you will earn on interest there is only a guarantee in the bank account that your money can't disappear and go to zero. But with your investments, the stock market could have trouble, the, the company that you invested in could have bad news come out and 10 or 15, 20 years from now, their stock prices fall in half um, or they go bankrupt. Or what if they drop to near zero just before they launch into outer space? Before I wrap this up, I've got to tell you that this gift is a power up. This is your power up. The potential for this gift is awesome and that's why I'm so excited to share it with you. My ultimate goal for you though is to help you open a Roth IRA and consistently deposit until you've reached your maximum every year for the rest of your working life. Imagine the numbers. We will definitely talk more about the Roth IRA in the future. Right now, I want you to take another look at the compound interest formula, see how it works, play with the numbers, put your own numbers in there, and dream big. There are no guarantees that this gift will be worth anything in 44 years, but there's a good chance your grandkids will be asking you to tell this story over and over again. And that's what makes it exciting.
please hit the like and subscribe button and check back for more videos on Poppy's Power Ups. Thank you.